My kids have these bright night lights in their bedrooms, and I got the idea to make a more fun bedside light for them. And that's how I ended up making these RGB LED signs. As my kids happen to have different names, I decided to make it modular, each letter and symbol as separate boxes, allowing you to build whatever sign you like. Since this project took me ages to make, I want to share it with you. You will find all the links in the video description. It's all based on an RGB LED strip controlled by a Seed Studio Xiao microcontroller. In addition, I added an encoder with push button to fade the lights, turn them on and off, and also to swap between different animations. I'm using the fast LED library to control the LEDs and base my code on the demo reel 100 example shared with the library. A big thank you to the fast LED developers. My current code version has seven modes. First mode will toggle the demo reel animations. Next modes will show the animations one by one. And in the last mode, you set the colors yourself by using the encoder. And by the way, the colors looks a lot better in real life than I managed to capture on video. Some signs I made got a more custom code based on the sign symbols. The possibilities for animations are endless, you just need to dive into the code. I recommend to test your filament color with some light before printing it all, as some of them does a poor job blocking the light. At the same time, it kind of adds an effect to the sign when a whole box lights up, so I leave the decision to you. The font I'm using is called Subway. Thanks Mr. Stefman for making and sharing such a nice font. So, what do you like the best, the flush fills or the extruded fills? So let me show you how to build one. This is what you need, a 3D printer, transparent filament for the letters, a color filament for the rest, a Seed Studio Xiao Sam D21 microcontroller, an encoder. Here I have used the KY40 encoder that I got off Amazon. Notice that it doesn't have any threads on it, and I cut it as I wanted a short and cute knob on it. RGB LED strip with 60 LEDs per meter, a 220 ohms resistor, a solder iron, and some drops of glue. Step 1. It's smart to start printing the transparent fills. I'll show you why in a second. Download the letters and symbols you need from printables and open them in your slicer. I have used these settings for slicing the fills. Layer height at 0.15, fill density at 25% and fill pattern as gyroid. This to get the best light diffusion as possible. Notice how I made the letters hollow to avoid seeing the fill pattern inside the fills. Step 2. Let's print the boxes. The first letter or symbol box must be a so-called smart box, as these also will house the microcontroller and the encoder if you would like to use one. Then download the rest as regular boxes together with the end box. Flip the boxes to have the front facing the print bed. I used layer height at 0.15 here as well, rest I left at default. Once you got the boxes printed, you will see why it's smart to print the fills first, as now you can insert those small pieces into the fills directly. Step 3. Insert the fills into the boxes and build the sign. Step 4. Might be a good idea to glue the fills to keep them in place. Step 5. Download and print the rear cover files, make sure to match your sign configuration. Step 6. Now let's cut the RGB LED strip to fit the sign. Normally, you will have two LEDs per character, but as you know, some characters are wider than the others. I tried my best to shrink them into same size. So, you guys like to be special, huh? wider than all the others hmm? oh let me show you i've got 
to show you. There we go. But it didn't look too good in the end. So for these white characters, you will need to have three LEDs and bend down the strip a little bit. And of course, some characters use only one LED. Step seven, solder the encoder to the shao. I must say I'm very pleased with this solution as you don't need to mess around with wires. Simply position the encoder angle to the shao and make sure to have ground to ground and you'll be good. Step eight, cut two 45 millimeter long wires. Solder them to the plus five volts and ground pins on the shao. I recommend to solder the ground wire to the top of the chow rather than on the side edge as the edge needs to fit flush with the box wall. After that solder the resistor to pin number 3. Now you can press the encoder into the sign. Leave a small gap between the encoder and the wall of the box. You might want to glue the encoder in place. Step 9. Find the input of the RGB strip and solder it to the wires and the resistor. Here's a fun fact. You may have noticed the angled section between the boxes. That's there to give room for solder joints. Step 10. Why the heck did I start with this step thing anyway? Okay, position the RGB strip and mount the rear covers. Step whatever. Download and print the encoder knob. Press it onto the encoder. Yes, I know it's not easy, but you can do it. Now the sign is ready. It's time to download some code to it. Open Arduino IDE and Boards Manager tab. Search for Seed Studio and install Boards. Then open Library Manager. Search for FastLED and install. The encoder library must be installed manually, so first download it from GitHub. A big thank you to Paul Stoffregen for a perfect encoder library. Shut down Arduino IDE, unpack it into Arduino library folder and restart Arduino IDE. Download the RGB LED sign code from my GitHub and open it. Count your LEDs and enter result into num LEDs. Next, starting from zero, enter first LED number in each character into this array. Then add num LEDs as last value. Lastly, enter startup colors for the free color mode, one for each character. The numbers correspond to the predefined color array. Now, select the show as board and set COM port. Then connect your sign and press download. Hopefully your sign will now come to life. The USB port is used both to program and power the sign. So you may power it by any USB source available, also battery banks. Hey, you could even put it in your car. Just be aware that even if you turn off your sign, it will still draw some current as these LEDs consumes power even when not lit. You should also consider the current consumption by assuming each LED draw about 50 milliamps at max brightness. So let's say you got 14 LEDs like the Billy sign, it sums up to 700 milliamps. And you should make sure you, your supply are rated above this, for example 1 amps. Please leave a comment if you got any questions. I hope to see a lot of signs and cool animations out there.